All right, Metalheads, this is DJ Rem, and I have John from the band Ampora on the line. How you doing, brother? I'm doing pretty good, man. How about yourself? Very good. Very good. So, awesome. so what's going on with the band right now? What's going on with you guys? Uh, right now, we are writing music for, uh, for uh, well, we did the Last Chance EP. Uh, you know, we released that about uh, maybe six or eight months ago. And uh, we have a bunch of interested labels, actually, that want to hear more music. So what we're doing right now is we're, we're trying to write the best songs we can so we can present that to the labels and hopefully... Uh, We'll have a fat recording deal by summer so we can uh, release a full-length album and we will all be millionaires and just, you know, money and bitches will come flying at us. <laughs> Good luck with that. Or something like that. Yeah, well seriously, I wish you luck, but, you know, you're gonna, right, right, it's going to be some hard work. Right, right, yeah. No, I mean, it's like the, the main thing right now, we're, we're working on getting some new... Uh, Music because we, we we play the the five songs off the EP. We did like forty shows last year, and we you know we played the same set over and over. So we're all kind of like, okay, we love these songs. We need some more music, and we, we're planning a couple more tours and stuff like that. So very cool. So how did you guys all get together and start this band? Um, actually, it, it's a bit of a story. Matt and Matt the singer, Matt and Berger, the the guitar player, uh, the other guitar player, and the singer Matt Matt Buffali, They've been best buddies since they were like four years old. Uh, they grew up together in uh, in Pennsylvania, and uh, you know, d- due to life happens, you know, they, they've been together and they've been apart, and you know, they, then they both ended up in Los Angeles, and uh, they've been trying to get this band together for like four years, but they were like, okay, we're really gonna get the right members, and we're not gonna settle for anything, but something that really feels right, and. Uh, so they did, you know, they, they went at it for a long time, and I think that was the uh, final piece of the puzzle when I joined in the beginning of last year. Which also happened by happenstance. Uh, uh, Matt and Berger, he used to work for Matchless, which, which is an amplifier company. And uh, I met him at an amp convention where, you know, I was trying out their amps, and I was, since Matchless made clean-sounding amps, I was playing a lot of blues and country, and, you know things like that, and I ended up meeting Matt and Berja at a metal concert in Hollywood, and he was like, hey man, are you into metal? And I was like, dude, I'm Swedish, of course I'm into metal, dude, I grew <laughs> right? up on that shit. Um, and so they asked me if I wanted to lay down some solos for their EP that they were recording, I was like, alright, this is cool, and I was like, fuck, this music is awesome! And, you know, we got along really well, and before you know, we're, we're playing shows everywhere. It's awesome. Very cool. So what's the, the music scene where you guys are at right now, is it pretty, does it keep you guys pretty busy? Oh, it's terrible, man. Stay away from Hollywood. Whatever you do, if you're in a band, stay away from Hollywood. Um, everybody thinks this is the place to be, you know. And, I mean, in some aspects of this, because, like, the entertainment industry is very much centered around Los Angeles. But it's a terrible place to play, because uh, it's all pay to play. That is, you got to... I'm, I'm not going to hang anyone out to dry, but we did a show in Hollywood at one of the ve- major venues... And we were opening up for a pretty big metal band, and we sold. How much? I think we sold like eighty tickets at fifteen dollars a piece. And the promoter takes all the money. I mean, literally, we made the promoter a thousand dollars, and he took all the money. You know, That's they wouldn't even give us tickets so we could sell and make a little bit of money ourselves. So right. I know LA is a horrible place to be to play. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, it really does. I mean, that, that's why we don't really play any local shows anymore because. There's nothing in it for us. So, so this, um, these tracks that I downloaded, are they, is that like an EP then? Yeah, exactly. The, uh, okay. the last chance you can get at uh, ampora.bandcamp.com. Yep. Uh, it, it's a five-track EP, you know, um, trying to like make the statement what, what Ampora is about, you know, good old metal, uh, no gimmicks, nothing like that. It's just good heavy music, a lot of melodies, and, and still, you know, heavy enough so we kick in the ass. Nice. Where'd you guys record that at? Uh, it's recorded at, at a friend's place. We're we're good friends with the guys in Moreau, which is a sort of genty metal band here from Los Angeles. And their singer Taylor uh, Bolts, he uh, he has a studio, and we tracked everything over there. Very cool. So you know, one thing we should do, since we're just ta- since I'm just talking to you right now, can you go ahead and introduce other members of the band and what their spots are? <coughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, 
first we have uh, Matt Berger, he's the rhythm guitar player and one of the key songwriters. Uh, the really, really good uh, rhythm guitar player. He has that chunky sound that, you know, I don't have, so <laughs> it makes sense that he does. Uh, Matt Mufali is the singer. Uh, he, he works... Matt and Matt are, are like the key songwriters in the band. You know, they wrote everything in the last chance. We have Kyle Rector, who is our drummer. Uh, Kid just got out of MI, you know, one of those drum prodigy guys. Uh, incredible work ethics and can really, really play. Uh, we have Evan Magnus on bass, uh, who's been friends with uh, Matt and Berger for a long time. They used to work at a guitar center together. Awesome singer. He's doing a lot of melodic singing, uh, also a lot of harmonies. Solid bass player, you know. Uh, super great guy, too. I love him. And uh, and then it's me, you know, John Holt being the lead guitar player, playing all that fast shreddy shit, making it sound like metal, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, you do a good job at it, so. Oh, right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. And this is awesome. This is the second time we've got to talk, so I'm pretty pretty stoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's turning into a good habit. Yeah, because you guys had just finished playing a show or something, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's correct. We had just played in uh, Riverton, Wyoming, last time we spoke. Well, that's right. Was, you were with Carol. <laughs> right, right, right. I was, I was freezing my nuts off. It was, it was cold as piss out there. <laughs> but you do what you got to do, right? Exactly. Especially if you're going to make the millions, right? Yeah, exactly. The money and the bitches, man. I'm, I'm in it for it. That's why I picked up a guitar when I was 15. I just <laughs> wanted money, bitch. No, nah, not really, but yeah. <laughs> it is so, what it is. Okay, so... What what got uh, besides that? What 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 got you into music? What made you want to do this? You know, yeah, what no, were your uh, the, the money and the bitches actually had nothing to do with it. Um, as I think any serious mus- musician picks up an instrument for the love of music, and uh, I, I just I just wanted to play. You know, the my, my mom put me in piano school when I was ten, so I did that, and you know, I was instantly deemed a child prodigy by my teacher because. For, for some reason, music just came really naturally to me, and it, it made a lot of sense. And then uh, the big grunge wave hit Sweden when I was 14, and I heard Nirvana for the first time, and that was like that was my first big band, you know, the first band I really, really got into. And, uh, you know, I was like, fuck it, man, I want to play guitar, that's much cooler. And uh, once I picked up the guitar, you know, I pretty much never looked back. Um, which is a stupid thing, because I'm... I'm I've, a much easier time playing piano than I have playing guitar. Playing guitar is a super hard instrument, but you know I'm a bit of a dumbass, so <laughs> so uh, I, <laughs> I just went after the much harder instrument. But you know, it, it, it has worked out. Very cool. Oh, hey, I remember one of those bands I interviewed. The band, one of the bands from Sweden I interviewed. Is, they're called Katana. Okay, Katana. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I've been out of the, the metal loop for quite some time since right. I've been here for over five years. So I don't really know what's going on over well, there. I just wanted to prove That's you that cool. I actually can remember a band. <laughs> so what? I just wanted to prove to you that I can remember somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. Oh. So what's your uh, what's your view of the whole recording industry now these days? I mean, obviously, you know, everybody wants to you do this for the music, but then you hope you can, uh, you know, be successful with it. What are your views and the, the obstacles, I guess, of making that happen? Hey, I don't know, man. It's it's uh. It's in turmoil still, but I think it's starting to crystallize itself a little bit. How the future is going to look like? Because I mean, it, it's awesome. I'm I'm looking into uh, getting a home studio myself because you know it's all of a sudden it's very affordable and, and there's tools so you can make almost professional grade recordings at home by yourself. And that's awesome because you know it, it makes it possible for anyone to do it. But it sucks because it makes it possible for anyone to do it. So right. You know, with, with every one good uh, homemade album, you know, it's going to be a thousand that's going to suck ass. But it, it's just, I think it's good that it, it, it has taken a lot of a lot of power away from the labels. You know, you have much more control over your, uh, you know, artistry and, and your career. But on the other hand, if you want to break through and actually catch the label's interest, you got to do much more work yourself. You know, you have to have the 20,000 likes on Facebook. You have to have a professional-sounding album. You have to have the established fan base already. I mean, those kinds of deals. Like, I, I, I meet people all the time <coughs> that have been in Los Angeles for, for a very long time, you know, who's here in the 80s, where it's like a band could play its first show 
I had the whiskey a go go, and there would be a, a industry rep there and sign it for two million dollars wow. the next day. I mean, it's like these things just don't happen anymore. Right. So you know, it, it's like with all things. For everything you gain, you know, you, you got to put in a little bit more. Also, you know, now you have the uh, you have the ability to record your own album for almost no money, and it's going to sound awesome. But if you want to break through, and you you need a label basically for the distribution and the promotions. You know, without a label, you're not going to get on the big tours, and uh, you know, you're not going to be seen on the like the more important blogs and the uh, the websites and stuff like that, and magazines. But to get there, you sort of already got to have a sustainable career going. So, you know, it's it, it's both ways, I think. Yep, definitely. A lot of hard work. <laughs> right. Power to the people, if nothing else. Yes. Okay, so is there a place people can go and, well, the, I know there is. Go ahead and just remind us where people can go and buy this album, the, the EP from okay. you. Okay. Uh, you can go to Ampora, that's A-M-P-O-R-A, ampora.bandcamp.com. You can actually download it for free. Uh, what we do have, though, is we have a really, really cool merchandise. We have T-shirts that are awesome. We have beer koozies. So you don't freeze uh, of your hand when you're holding your beer, and yes, you're going to look don't stylish. Want a frozen hand. Uh, we have stickers. You know, we have the usual merch stuff. You can find that on our Facebook, which is just facebook.com slash Music. Swing by, say hi to us. You know, we're, we love interacting with, with fans and friends and all that stuff, so... Uh, and if you want to buy the album, you can buy the album too. Yeah, but yeah. I saw how you have it set up. It's like name your price, basically. Right, right, right. And I mean, you can actually download it for free. But what we notice is that people that download it for free, and you know, if, if they really like it, they usually come back and buy a T-shirt for something. Yeah, that's awesome. Very good. Yes, people support the band. <laughs> buy yes, their people. Stuff. Listen to Spencer. He knows what he's talking buy about. Buy their stuff. Hey, uh, how the how the band name how they name how the band come to be named Ampora? How that come to be? You know. Uh, the, the, <coughs> excuse me. The, this was between uh, Amberja and Mufali. Uh, I don't think it means anything. I think it's just a word that sounds cool to them. You know. Uh, and I'm I'm actually kind of stoked on that because if you make a Google search, we are the first thing that comes up. Someone told me that it it's some kind of. Uh, wine receptacle in Ethiopian or something like that and I know there's a, Ampora is a girl's name in some countries huh. but it, it, it's just a name it's just a word that sounds cool I guess okay anything else that you want to tell the world about you guys uh yeah j- just to uh, check out our stuff and you know we would love to hear from you on Facebook which is where we hang out most you know, if you like, or check out our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm posting some videos on there too, and you know, just keep supporting uh, music that you love. How um something I didn't ask you guys didn't ask you is how do you guys go about um, writing your music and, and developing that? Is there is there like some one person that kind of leads that up, or is it more of a collaborative? How do you guys do that? Well, so far, what has been last chance has been uh, pretty much entirely uh, Matt and Virgin and Matthew Foley, because you know. They, they started the band and it took them four years to get the band together and you know during that time they wrote all the music and I mapped it out for these new bunch of tunes uh, I wrote one song so I, I wrote like all the riffs and, and all that stuff and uh, me and Evan did some melodic uh, vocal ideas and then we're taking that to Matt and Matt and you know we tweaked a little bit to make sure everybody's happy make sure all the uh, vocal arrangements are really good because that's really what it's about, you know. The, the first thing you listen for is vocals, whether, whether you're uh, with it or not. So uh, it's going to be more of a collaborative effort uh, on this next batch of songs. Very cool. And you know, tell you what, when um, when you guys get your get get your full album together and get it released, we should uh, we should get together and do this again. Absolutely, man. You can help. Uh, you know, maybe we can give away a couple CDs or something. Oh, dude, that, that'd be sick, man. We'll, yep. we'll definitely set something up. Okay, cool. And we could do it, we could actually do it, um, when, when we decide to do that, we could do it live on my show, and then we'll get some um, audience, audience participation and stuff, too. We can do that. Oh, yeah, dude, that'd be badass. You can play a couple of tracks, and, you know, we can see what people think about it. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, when I, I'm not this week, but next week I play this interview back on my show, and then I'm going um, to play the whole EP after I play the interview, so. Oh, Thanks, dude. Yep. Appreciate it. Yep, you'll get lots of airplay that way. 
Okay, one last thing before I let you go here. Um, if you can make a couple of radio tags for me. Oh, for sure. So, the first one can just be, this is John from Ampora, and you're listening to DJ Rem at MetalheadRadio.com. DJ Rem at MetalheadRadio.com. Yep. Right, yep. right now? Yeah, yeah, it's recording, so we're good. Okay. Hi, this is John from the band Empora. You're listening to DJ Rem at MetalheadRadio.com. Perfect. And then the second one, if you can just leave uh, leave DJ Rem out and just do a, a, gener- a generic station tag. Okay. Hey, this is John from the band Empora, and you're listening to MetalheadRadio.com. Very cool, man. Appreciate it a ton. All right. Awesome, dude. I'm glad, we, lot, I'm glad we worked out our issues so we could talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Now, now I know where to find it. Yep. <laughs> Okay, man, All right, All right, thank you so much, man. Yep, take care. All right, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs>